Scene Script Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered what's out there in the vast universe? Welcome to a journey that will take us billions of light years away into the heart of the cosmos. We're about to delve into the enigma that is our universe. A place so vast, it's almost beyond our comprehension. It's like an unending ocean of galaxies, stars, planets, and mysteries that we are only just beginning to unravel. Imagine for a moment the sheer magnitude of the universe. It is believed to be around 13.8 billion years old. That's nearly three times the age of the Earth. In that span of time, it has expanded and evolved, creating a cosmic tapestry that is constantly changing and growing. And what about the galaxies? Well, there's no definitive number, but current estimates suggest there could be anywhere from 100 billion to 2 trillion galaxies out there, each one home to billions, even trillions of stars. And around those stars, likely as many planets, if not more. But despite its immense size, the universe is not just a chaotic jumble. It's a place of order and structure. Galaxies group together to form clusters, and those clusters come together to form superclusters. Even as we speak, these cosmic structures are moving, evolving, and interacting in ways that continue to astound us. Yet, the more we learn, the more questions we have. What is dark matter? What is dark energy? Are we alone in the universe? These are just a few of the puzzles that scientists are striving to solve. The universe is like a grand cosmic ballet, with galaxies as the dancers, and the laws of physics as the choreographer. It's a spectacle that has been ongoing for billions of years and will likely continue for billions more. So, as you gaze up at the night sky, remember this. You are not just looking at stars. You are looking at the history of the universe, a story written in light that has traveled across the cosmos to reach your eyes. The universe's vastness and complexity can be overwhelming, but it's also what makes it fascinating. Ever pondered where we fit in this cosmic expanse? In the grand theater of the universe, our home, Earth, is part of a larger ensemble known as the Solar System. This system, with its eight planets, numerous moons, asteroids, and comets, pirouettes around a solitary star we call the Sun. Yet our solar system is merely a speck in a much grander scale. It resides in one of the spiral arms of a galaxy we've named the Milky Way. This galaxy, with its dazzling swirls of billions of stars, gas, and cosmic dust, is so vast that light, traveling at staggering speeds, takes a hundred thousand years to cross from one side to the other. However, the Milky Way is not alone in this cosmic dance. It's just one of the estimated two trillion galaxies that make up the observable universe. Each of these galaxies, teeming with stars, each of those stars potentially hosting planets, paints a picture of a universe that is unimaginably vast and incredibly diverse. And yet amidst this cosmic spectacle, our planet stands out. Earth, the third rock from the sun, is a unique celestial body. It is the only place we know of that supports life, a precious jewel in the vast cosmic ocean. Consider this for a moment. Out of all the planets in all the galaxies in the entire observable universe, it's here on Earth where the conditions were just right for life to flourish. It's here that water exists in abundance, where an atmosphere and a magnetic field protect us from harmful solar radiation. It's here that life has evolved, from the simplest of microorganisms to the complexity of human beings capable of pondering their place in the universe. Yes, in the grand scheme of things, we might seem insignificant, but our existence, our ability to think, to question, to explore, that's what makes us and our planet so special. The universe is a grand stage and Earth plays a unique role in it. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, has captivated humanity for eons, but do we truly know it? This glowing orb of silver in our night sky is more than just a beautiful sight. It's a natural satellite, orbiting our planet every 27.3 days. Its size is just a quarter of the Earth's diameter, making it the fifth largest moon in our solar system. Despite its size, the moon is still about 238,855 miles away from us. That's approximately 30 times the diameter of Earth. The moon's gravitational influence is powerful, and this is most evident in the tides of our oceans. You see, the gravitational pull from the moon causes the water on the side of the Earth facing the moon to bulge towards it, creating a high tide. As the Earth rotates, the bulge moves around the planet, causing high and low tides as it goes. But the moon doesn't just affect our oceans. It also has an effect on the Earth's rotation. The gravitational tug of war between the Earth and the moon causes the Earth to slow down its rotation. This interaction leads to a longer day on Earth by about one and a half milliseconds every century. 
Interestingly, the moon always shows us the same face. This is because the moon's rotational period is synchronized with its orbital period around the Earth, a phenomenon known as tidal locking. So the far side of the moon, often mistakenly referred to as the dark side, is hidden from our view. Despite its proximity, the moon holds secrets that continue to puzzle scientists. For instance, we know it has quakes, but unlike Earth, these aren't caused by tectonic plates. Instead, they're believed to be due to the cooling and contracting of the moon's interior. The moon, while close and familiar, holds its own mysteries. Its enigmatic charm continues to enchant us, reminding us that there's so much more to learn and discover about our universe. How did our moon come into existence? Now that's an intriguing question. The moon, our faithful nocturnal companion, has captivated human curiosity for centuries. Today we're going to delve into some of the theories that have emerged about its formation. The most widely accepted theory is the giant impact hypothesis, also known as the Theia impact. This theory proposes that about four and a half billion years ago, a Mars-sized body named Theia collided with the early Earth. The enormous impact blasted a significant portion of the Earth's mantle and crust into space. This debris eventually coalesced and formed the Moon. The giant impact hypothesis does a great job of explaining many aspects of the Moon, like its size, its orbit, and its composition. It's like a cosmic detective story, isn't it? But like any good mystery, there are still some unanswered questions. So, let's consider some other theories, shall we? Once upon a time, some scientists proposed the fission theory. This suggests that the moon was once part of the Earth that somehow spun off into space. While it's an interesting idea, it struggles to explain the moon's current orbit. Another theory is the capture theory. This suggests the moon was fully formed elsewhere in the galaxy and got caught by Earth's gravitational pull. But again, this theory struggles to explain why the moon's composition is so similar to the Earth's mantle. Lastly, there's the co-formation theory. This proposes that the Earth and the Moon formed together from the solar nebula. However, it doesn't explain why the Moon lacks iron, which the Earth has in abundance. As you can see, each of these theories has its strengths and weaknesses. It's a testament to the complexity and wonder of our universe, and it's why scientists are still searching for more pieces of this lunar puzzle. The Moon's origin remains one of the most intriguing questions in astronomy. So, next time you gaze up at the moon, remember, its story is still being written. Ever wondered why the moon appears to have a face? What we see from Earth is a tapestry of lunar landscapes that create a sort of optical illusion, a face in the moon, if you will. It's a fascinating example of pareidolia where our brains recognize familiar patterns where none exist. But let's delve deeper into these lunar landscapes that make up the moon's face. The moon's surface is a mix of craters, maria, and highlands, each has its unique characteristics and story to tell. The craters, for instance, are evidence of the Moon's violent past. These bowl-shaped depressions were formed when asteroids and comets slammed into the Moon, causing massive explosions. Some craters are billions of years old, frozen in time due to the Moon's lack of atmosphere and weather. Then, there are the Maria. These are the dark, flat regions you might think of as the Moon's facial features. Maria were formed over 3 billion years ago when the Moon's interior was still hot and volcanically active. Magma from the Moon's interior erupted onto the surface, filling in low-lying areas and creating these vast, flat plains. The dark color of the Maria is due to the iron-rich minerals in the basalt rock that's cooled and solidified from the magma. Lastly, the highlands. These are the bright, heavily cratered regions that make up the majority of the Moon's surface. They are the Moon's oldest surfaces, some estimated to be over 4 billion years old. The highlands are mountainous, rugged terrains, a stark contrast to the smooth Maria. It's this combination of craters, Maria, and highlands, all with their different colors and textures, that give the moon its unique appearance. They form what looks like a face, etched by time and shaped by cosmic impacts and geological activity. So, the next time you look up at the moon and see a face staring back at you, Remember the incredible processes that have sculpted its surface? The Moon's surface tells a story of cosmic impacts and geological activity. Why does the Moon change shape throughout the month? A question that has intrigued curious minds for millennia. The answer lies in the dance between our planet, the Moon, and the Sun. This celestial ballet gives rise to the phases of the Moon and the phenomenon of eclipses. As the Moon orbits the Earth, different portions of it are illuminated by the Sun, creating the various phases we observe. When the moon is between the Earth and the sun, we see the new moon, the start of the lunar cycle, where the moon is virtually invisible. 
As the moon moves in its orbit, more of its sunlit side becomes visible, leading to the first quarter phase, where half the moon is illuminated. This gradually increases to a full moon, where the entire face of the moon is brightly lit. This cycle then reverses, leading back to a new moon, completing the lunar cycle. This cosmic dance is not just about the moon changing its appearance, it also leads to one of the most awe-inspiring events in the night sky, eclipses. Lunar eclipses occur when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, casting a shadow on the Moon. This can give the Moon a reddish hue, leading to the term blood moon. On the flip side, a solar eclipse happens when the Moon comes between the Earth and the Sun, casting a shadow on the Earth. For a brief moment, day turns into night, and we can witness the Sun's outer atmosphere or corona, a sight that is usually hidden by the Sun's brilliant light. This rhythmic dance of the celestial bodies, the changing faces of the moon, and the spectacle of eclipses have not only been a source of wonder but also of scientific discovery. They've helped us understand our place in the universe, the mechanics of our solar system, and the laws that govern the cosmos. The moon's phases and eclipses are celestial spectacles that have fascinated us for centuries, and they continue to inspire curiosity, wonder, and a thirst for knowledge in the hearts of space enthusiasts and scientists alike. What does the future hold for our exploration of the moon? As we gaze upwards, the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, has always been a source of wonder and mystery. But now, we're on the brink of a new era in lunar exploration. The moon isn't just a silent sentinel in our night sky anymore. It's becoming a destination, a place to understand our past and forge our future. In the coming years, we can expect a flurry of lunar missions. Countries around the world, from the United States to China, India to Israel are planning their own voyages to the moon. And it's not just nations. Private companies are also joining the race, with plans to mine lunar resources and even establish moon bases. Imagine that, moon bases. These aren't just the dreams of science fiction writers, but real, tangible goals. Scientists believe that the moon could be a stepping stone for further space exploration. A base there could serve as a launch pad for missions to Mars and beyond, reducing the cost and complexity of space travel. But it's not all about the practicalities. These missions also have immense scientific value. The moon is a time capsule, its surface untouched for billions of years. By studying it, we can learn about the early history of the Earth and the solar system. We could discover new resources, find clues about the possibility of life elsewhere in the universe, and gain a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. The future of lunar exploration is bright, and it's happening right now. The next generation of lunar explorers won't just be looking at the moon through telescopes, they'll be walking on its surface, studying its rocks, and maybe even calling it home. The moon continues to draw us in, promising new discoveries and a better understanding of our universe. So let's keep our eyes on the sky because the next chapter of lunar exploration is just beginning and it promises to be an exciting journey. So, what has our journey through the universe and our exploration of the moon taught us? We've discovered that our universe is a vast, awe-inspiring expanse, filled with galaxies, stars, and celestial bodies beyond our wildest imagination. It's a symphony of cosmic forces and celestial bodies, with us, humans, as part of this grand orchestra. We've learned that our planet Earth is but a tiny speck in the grand tapestry of the cosmos, yet it's a unique haven teeming with life. Our celestial companion, the moon, has also revealed its intriguing features and mysteries. It's more than just a radiant orb in the night sky. It's a testament to the universe's dynamic nature, with its ever-changing phases, its fascinating formation theories, and its rugged, captivating surface. As we continue to gaze at the night sky, we're reminded of the grandeur of the universe and the enduring mystery of the moon.